welcome to another episode of Holly Ann's Crackhead Life featuring I, Holly Ann. Today I am showing you things that I purchased or was gifted to fill the void that is in my heart and my holes. Sorry I sound kind of weird. I have another cold. It's not the thing we shall not speak of because I got tested and it came negative so um we're just going with what we got. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I bought is stuff from Shein. I'm at the point in my life where I can't go very long without placing order on Shein. Like Shein has my credit card on lock. Yeah, I need Jesus. I got some Christmas nails because you know, your girl has to declare the fact that she loves Christmas by gluing on cheap plastic nails to her nail beds. I'm not sure how I feel about Shein nails at this point because I kind of wish I would have tried <laughs> the Halloween ones before buying new ones because they like fell off right away. Might have been the glue I used. I don't know. Um, maybe I should try super glue. I just don't want them to fall off after like four seconds, okay? Then I got hair clips. This one's the color P. This one's the color of my P after I drink beer. And this one's the color of my P after somebody gives me chlamydia. Then I bought this thing. It's supposed to like be a thing where I can supposedly, I don't know how works supposedly i can charge my phone at the same time as listening to stuff but i don't know if that's true or not i hope it works that sure would be nice even though the year is 2021 and i have a custom made tesla that elon musk had made just for me for some reason he thought i didn't need bluetooth so i have to use an auxiliary cord like what year is it is it like 2012 then i got these hair clips um they're gold and silver because, well, I wanted the gold ones, but they came with the silver ones, so, um, yeah. Then I got this hair clip. Why don't I unbag anything so I can actually show you a better look? Ooh, that's soft. I got this hair clip. It's shedding. <laughs> Do you see that? Do you see that thing shedding? Hopefully my air filter picks up on that. It filters that out. That don't look safe to be breathing in, but it's so cute and soft. <laughs> And then I got these chopstick hair things and I got this color because it reminded me of cows because we all know I'm from Iowa and what are people from Iowa obsessed with? We are obsessed with cows. So I gotta show my cow spirit by having everything I own be cow colored. And I also got another one of those auxiliary to lightning things but I gave it away to one of my friends so I could listen to music while I'm in their car because for some reason I still associate myself with people that use Android phones. Charity work is what it's called. And that's everything I got from Shein. So the next thing I have is something to fill my hole with and then I got another thing to fill my hole with. So these actually came to me from my Amazon wish list, which if you ever want to buy me anything with my Amazon wish list, I would appreciate it. It's in the description. Somebody sent me these. I don't know who. They didn't leave a note. I want to thank them. Let me show them a little something. I'm trying to wink there. I haven't posted any content with these on my OnlyFans because nobody's ever told me that they bought them for me. I want to make it special for them. Unless if it was just somebody that's just like, ooh, cute dildos. Buy them for her because she's queen of dildos. But I feel like a magical girl with these. I'm like, Ugh. I have one similar that I got to this from Wish that I posted in my Wish sex toy video. And it's like half the size of this. So these boys from Amazon are pretty thick. The one I got from Wish is pretty small. Let me see if I can find it. Hold on. Found it. So yeah, this is the heart one I got from Wish like years ago, but I broke the heart off when I dropped it on the floor. Look how much bigger that is. That is humongo difference. So yeah, dildos from Amazon. Thank you for whoever bought these for me. I do appreciate it because you know me, I love filling my holes with stuff. Do you ever get like post nasal drip when you get a cold and it makes your tummy hurt. That's how I feel, dude. Ugh. The next step I have is something real basic that white girls love. You'll never guess what it is. Okay, did you guess? But I also got the gold one too. I got these on accident <laughs> because I went to the movies and it was in a casino with a Starbucks in it and I was just randomly like, oh my God, I should go and see if they have the tumblers. And they did. I also want to get the icy looking one because I love the spiky tumblers, but they didn't have that available. I have the black stud one, but I'm too lazy to go get it and show you. I, you can just Google what it looks like. It's black and spiky. And the best part about them is if you ever like get bored of it, you can just sell it 
and somebody will buy it used for the, either the price you bought it at or even even more depending on how much time it has which is like crazy good investment hobby if you ever yeah then i went thrifting i got this dress it's a little big on me i can take it in on the sides to make it fit smaller it's a size small which i'm kind of surprised it's so big but i'm freakishly short freakishly flat chested so two plus two equals it's gonna be a little big so yeah i have to take it in in order for it to me fit more sexy I'm trying to be more sexy for literally nobody because i don't like having male attention when i go out by myself but um i also got a pair of skinny jeans they're both they're dark blue they make my butt look really good too bad you're not subscribed to my only fans to see how amazing my ass looks in these and then i also got this dress it was originally from fashion nova it's a little see-through which is fine because I don't really care because you can just wear nude colored undergarments and it's hard to see then speaking of nude colored undergarments I bought these they're boy shorts they look like this like yeah I, I could just wear a thong and have a more seamless look with the dress but I hate thongs so much they can cause yeast infections and I have really bad hemorrhoids so bad that they just, they just bleed everywhere in the suppositories I have to take they sent me caca everywhere and the cream I use it's just annoying I'm afraid my anus is going to become addicted to steroids because they use steroid cream on hemorrhoids is this a legitimate concern can somebody in the medical community tell me do I need to worry about my anus becoming addicted to steroids then I went on to the Etsy. I got some elf ears. I got gold because I'm like super into gold, I say as I'm wearing a silver necklace. But these are so freaking cute if I can get them on. Well, I shouldn't be trying to put them on when I have earrings on, but whatever. I'm kind of a loser and I'm into this kind of stuff. I originally bought like the, I thought they were silicone. No, they were latex ears and I had an allergic reaction then, which was great because you know everyone loves having a big rashy rash on their ears and their hairline that's itchy and then you're scratching all your hair out that's just it's fantastic so I had to get gold because silver's ugly to me I say again as I'm wearing a silver necklace I feel kind of like a bougie elf that would be me I would be a bougie elf fuck nature give me your Gucci and I also got roll-on perfumes from Etsy they're from sacred wild divine this is I am creative throat chakra roll-on because um, my throat chakra is blocked AF. You know, the, the older I get, the more I believe in chakras because <laughs> I have thyroid issues and it's said that like thyroid issues stem from like your throat chakra being all screwed up and stuff. And people are like, oh, that's BS. But like around the time when I was diagnosed, that's like when I became like the most shyest potato in my entire existence. So do they correlate does that make sense is it legit i don't know but this stuff smells really good anyway so like if anything i smell nice and then i got this one it's divine purpose natural perfume for channeling positivity and inner power because i, I want to get my life on track so i'm asking perfumes to assist me then i bought some stuff from a different store called virgo magic i also bought body wash from them and a pen but i'm too lazy to go get those but i got protection mist to protect me from my haters because even though i don't really care about having haters some people are kind of intense and they get like violent when they don't like you and i don't like that so i gotta protect myself from those kind of haters so yeah protection mist then I got money bay leaves because sis needs that coin. Subscribe to my OnlyFans. And then I got Plato Santo Road Opener, which is supposed to like help me feel less distracted and stuff. Does it work? I don't know. I haven't opened it. Same thing with the money leaves. I haven't opened those either. I need to get around to doing that. I'm just a potato because the other day when I was lighting sage, I set off my fire alarm and nobody noticed, but still it's like awkward when you're living with like a bunch of people and like you set off the fire alarm in your bedroom like what are you smoking in there what are you lighting on fire yeah that is my haul i just like buying stuff because i'm sad and lonely and i need attention so if you like my video don't forget to subscribe give me some attention give it a thumbs up i want that attention leave a comment so i can respond to it give you attention thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye